If you want to make some extra money reselling online, but you're not sure where to start, a great category to go into is board games. And that's because they are everywhere. Every thrift store we visit has an aisle dedicated just to board games, which gives you a lot of opportunity to find something worth some money. Now, the problem with board games is also that they are everywhere. The fact that an aisle is dedicated at every store to board games means that a lot of it's probably junk, which it is. So to make your life easier, here are some tips to use when you're outsourcing for board games. Starting off easy. If it is produced in mass, it is ass. Which honestly could be a slogan for just about anything, but specifically the brand name board games like Monopoly. The only time you want to even bother looking them up is when it's a special edition. But even the special editions aren't always worth it, so you got to be careful. Make sure you're looking at the sell-through. Now, tip number two is super simple. You know your nostalgia. If you see a board game that you played as a kid and you know they don't make it anymore, you need to look that up. If you find a game that's sealed, it's always worth checking out because you don't have to verify. If the game is used, make sure you check contents while you're in store if you can. Make sure when you're searching the item up that you're checking out the year in the title. Same UPCs, different years sell for different prices. And last but not least, if you notice that a board game has a very nice box, you're going to want to check that out. And boom, boom, now you've been tipped. Let us know when you find an awesome board game. Unless you already found one, then let us know now. All right, time to go be weird. Goodbye.